All right, explorers. Today we're diving straight into an adventure like no other. We're learning about one of the most fascinating animals on Earth, crabs. These incredible creatures come in all shapes and sizes, and they've got a few secrets up their claws. To help us on this journey, we're joined by an expert. Everyone meet Krabby. Absolutely. First question, how many types of crabs are there in the world? G'day, mates. Krabby's the name, and I'm here to answer all your questions about crabs. Ready to get cracking? There are over 4,500 types of crabs, mate. That's right, from the tiniest pea crab to the giant spider crab. We're everywhere, and every type is unique. And let me tell you, each one has some pretty incredible adaptations. Some can camouflage perfectly into their environments, while others, like the ghost crab, are lightning fast to escape predators. Wherever you find water or even just moisture, you'll probably find a crab. Where can we find crabs? Are they only on beaches? Not even close. Crabs live in oceans, rivers, mangroves, and even forests. Some, like coconut crabs, climb trees. And did you know that certain crabs, like freshwater crabs, live in rivers and streams? We're world travelers, thriving in all sorts of habitats. But here's something even cooler. Crabs can also survive in some pretty extreme places, like deep-sea hydrothermal vents, where the water is boiling hot and filled with chemicals. It's an incredible reminder of how adaptable we are. Wow, okay, here's a big one. Why do crabs walk sideways? Ah, the classic question. Our legs are built for sideways movement. It helps us scuttle quickly into hiding spots when danger strikes. But not all crabs walk sideways. Some, like the spider crab, can move forward too. Cool, right? And sideways walking isn't just about speed. It's also about keeping balance and navigating tricky terrain. Imagine trying to squeeze through a narrow crack in a rock. Sideways movement makes it a breeze. How do crabs communicate with each other? Oh, we're quite the chatterboxes. We wave our claws to send signals, drum on rocks, and some crabs even use vibrations to talk. Fiddler crabs are famous for their claw waving. It's like saying, hey, look at me. And did you know that some crabs use color changes to send messages? It's like having a built-in mood ring. For example, when we're feeling feisty, our colors might brighten up. Communication is key when you've got so many crab neighbors. That's amazing! What do crabs eat? We're scavengers, so we'll eat just about anything. Algae, plants, fish, even leftovers from other animals. Coconut crabs are known for cracking open coconuts to snack on. Delicious! But that's not all. Some crabs, like the arrow crab, help clean coral reefs by eating pests like bristle worms. Others, like the hermit crab, munch on dead material, keeping the ocean floor clean. We're nature's janitors, always on the lookout for a meal and a chance to tidy up. Let's talk about crabs' claws. Why are they so important? Claws are our everything. We use them to eat, fight, and communicate. And if we lose one, we can regrow it. How's that for a cool trick? But it doesn't stop there. Claws are also tools for digging burrows, defending ourselves from predators, and even building shelters. Some crabs, like the decorator crab, use their claws to attach bits of seaweed and shells to their bodies, creating a clever disguise. It's like carrying your own personal toolkit everywhere you go. Can crabs swim? Oh, absolutely. Swimming crabs, like blue crabs, use their back legs like paddles. We're not just walkers, we're swimmers too. Our swimming style is pretty unique, almost like flying underwater. And in some cases, crabs use swimming to migrate long distances, even across entire bays or channels. It's a skill that's as fun as it is functional. How do baby crabs grow up? Baby crabs start as larvae floating in the ocean. And let me tell you, their journey is wild. They go through several stages, molting and growing each time, until they finally look like tiny versions of adult crabs. It's not easy being a baby crab. They have to avoid predators, find food, and survive the currents. But once they settle on a safe spot, like a coral reef or tide pool, they begin their new life as little explorers. It's a long journey, but it's worth it. What are the weirdest places crabs live? 
Oh, we crabs love surprising people. Some of us live in hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor where it's dark and boiling hot. Others, like the tree climbing crabs in the mangroves, live way above ground. And get this, there are even crabs that live in caves. We've adapted to thrive in almost every environment you can think of. Do crabs have any cool defense tricks? You bet we do. Some crabs can bury themselves in sand in the blink of an eye to hide from predators. Others, like the pom-pom crab, carry tiny sea anemones in their claws to scare off enemies. And decorator crabs? They're masters of disguise, blending right into their surroundings. It's all about staying one step ahead in the wild. What's the biggest threat to crabs? Sadly, it's us humans. Pollution, habitat destruction, and overfishing have really hurt crab populations. But there's good news. People all over the world are working to protect our habitats. And you can help too by keeping beaches clean and learning about ocean conservation. Explorers, what an incredible adventure we've had today. From learning about how crabs communicate and swim to their amazing habitats and defense tricks, we've discovered so much about these fascinating creatures. But before we go, let's take a moment to celebrate just how amazing the world of crabs really is. Crabs are everywhere, from the deepest oceans to the highest mangrove trees. They're nature's little cleaners, making sure ecosystems stay balanced and healthy. And that's not all. These tiny adventurers are living proof that even the smallest creatures can make a big impact on our planet. Exploring the world of animals like crabs is so cool for kids because it teaches us about the incredible diversity of life on Earth. Here on our channel, we bring real animals and their stories right to you, inspiring curiosity and a love for nature that will last a lifetime. Krabby, do you have any final words for our adventurers? Absolutely, Sam. Remember, explorers, every crab you see has its own story and its own special role in nature. Whether it's cleaning up the ocean floor, creating burrows that help other animals, or just being plain cool, crabs are some of the most amazing creatures you can learn about. And don't forget, it's up to all of us to keep their homes safe. So stay curious, protect the planet, and always be ready for your next adventure. Thank you, Krabby, and thank you, explorers, for joining us on this unforgettable journey. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more about real animals around the world right here on our channel. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep caring for the amazing animals that share our planet.